hey, Chris Hagen. And, and, and this Chris Hagen experience is going to be a little bit different because this is, this is me telling the story of something that happened to me in the January of 1982. I was on my way from St. Louis to uh, Midland, Texas. I was going to get rich in the oil well business. Um, I was stupid. Um, and to show you how stupid I was, I had virtually no money whatsoever. And I was going to stay at the Peabody Hotel. And, and over here is the Memphis uh, Redbirds baseball park. So that, that was not there at the time. And I was here, I believe I was on this street, B.B. King Street. And, and again, the Peabody Hotel is a wonderful, wonderful hotel. One of the finest hotels in the United States. This is no reflection on them. But I was at the stoplight. I don't remember exactly what car I was in line at stoplight. And I see all these people standing around here. And there was a, a big guy wearing a t-shirt, which was kind of unusual. I mean, this is January. So I guess it's not all that unusual, but it was unusual for me in January. The guys wearing a t-shirt. It was a white t-shirt. And he was leaned up against uh, this particular hotel. Again, this is no reflection on the hotel. Uh, stuff can happen. But the guy had like a dirty t-shirt. He was a big guy. Uh, I'm going to go with 6'3", 300 pounds. And, and I've told this story. In fact, I told my brother who lives in Massachusetts that we were coming to Memphis. And he actually reminded me of the story. Um, so I just remember there's traffic everywhere and I look at the guy and he's got a white t-shirt on and, and it's, it's, kind of, it's, it's kind of a dirty t-shirt and then I look back over and there's a red dot a red dot a red dot a red dot and a red dot and it was like I'm just like looking well and so was everyone else and then the guy slid down the building, and then you can see all the blood uh, alongside the building from where this guy had obviously been shot at massively close range. And it was like a five, like a dice. And the lights would turn green and red and green and red. And no one moved because everybody that was here was kind of in the same sense of shock as to what had happened and, and again this is 1982 and then all of a sudden you started hearing the sirens so we obviously were all just kind of i don't know in shock i don't want to say mesmerized but disbelief of what everybody had just seen and if anybody was honking the horns it didn't do any good because when you get in that situation you can't really hear anything so in, in, anyway <laughs> that was my first experience with memphis as a uh, very young man uh, my brother ends up moving to uh, the Memphis area, and subsequently we've been down here dozens of times, and it's a beautiful and it's a wonderful city, and things bad things happen everywhere. So what's the point of this video? Why am I doing this? Because all my videos are normally very positive and uplifting. I, honestly, it was just to get my story on tape because... Everybody that I know has heard me tell this story, but I've never documented it anyway. So that's all I'm doing is I'm documenting it. Uh, so no reason to click like, no reason to press share. But if you want to, what the heck, go right ahead. Again, Memphis is a beautiful city. Um, we actually just stayed at the Hotel Napoleon, uh, which was uh, built by Napoleon Hill, the famous author, somewhere around uh, 1902. And as you can see how close it is, and then you can't see it, but it's right there is the uh, FedEx Center uh, where we just saw the Memphis Grizzlies beat my uh, favorite team, uh, the Golden State Warriors. Uh, the, the, I'm going to say it was, it was probably 75% Memphis fans, 25%. Uh, Golden State Warriors fans. That means a lot of people came from out of town to watch the uh, the basketball game. And the Memphis people were just absolutely delightful, even though all the rest of us were wearing Steph Curry uh, basketball jerseys. Anyway, like I say, if you want to press like and share, go right ahead, but you don't have to on this one. Thank you.